hour they've given us an update that they've made 38 arrests and recovered four knives mm. and they said a man believed to be in his 20s has been stabbed his injuries are not life-threatening well that's all right then no one died i like those odds but overall it's been a really peaceful and enjoyable day should we go and check it out come on then let's see what's going on out here My God, it's beautiful. I've never seen so much diversity in all of my life. I need to get down there and take a closer look. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, excuse me. Who's Daniel Boland? Oh, Daniel Boland, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? Look, I'm an average guy with an average life. Uh, all I want is to be left alone in my average home. But uh, why do I always feel like I'm in the twilight zone okay good opening um but uh we better get serious here uh, i am concerned concerned i tell you about this uh about this notting hill carnival uh talks international editor isabel oakshot uh hello isabel hi there um i'm actually surprised that you wouldn't want it banned i would i think this is just each and every year no one's idea of a just a celebration of Caribbean culture. Each and every year, there's far too much violence at this event, far too many drugs, yeah. far too much, frankly, just dreadful behaviour. This year, we've had appalling stabbings, as you, you and I have talked about week in, week out. These are becoming virtually a daily event. You know, some poor young mother and a child. Um, Frankly, I've no idea why anyone would take a young child to that event anyway. Oh, some uh, nice, subtle victim blaming from Isabel Backshot there. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not saying I disagree with her. A a any of you who've been watching me for a while will know that uh, something like the Notting Hill Carnival ain't exactly my cup of tea, all right? All of that degenerate humping, right? You'll, you'll never catch me doing anything like that. There's no dirt on me. I'm as clean as a whistle. You'll, you won't see me humping in public any day soon. Or in private, for that matter. There will be no hip movements uh, on my watch. Uh, but look, the point is, I feel sometimes that uh, the monotonous droning voice there of Isabel Backshot is symptomatic. <laughs> it's symptomatic of the pearl clutching that's going on around around Notting Hill carnage. Am I right? Uh, I don't disagree. I don't like the Notting Hill carnival. I don't like seeing people humping and dull drunk and shitting in doorways and stuff. It's disgusting. I agree. Right? However, I do feel that we have a bit of an in-group, out-group uh, preference going on here. We're being polarised again. All right, you know how much I hate polarization on the Daniel Boland show. And the number of arrests is phenomenal. And the absorption of police time and also the ambulance staff, by the way. I mean, huge numbers of London ambulance staff diverted to be present at this so-called carnival, um, meaning that presumably um, waiting times for ordinary people, just not at the carnival, um, are probably even longer and more risky than usual. I see on my timeline, I've been seeing on my timeline over the last few days on Twitter, uh, I've been seeing people posting videos of uh, Notting Hill Carnival like it's the most beautiful 
diverse, stunning celebration of life and of Afro-Caribbean culture. And other people who, you know, frankly, I, you know, I kind of agree with more, who are posting the videos of everyone sort of humping each other and uh, being drunk and rowdy and a bit disgusting and, you know, the odd stabbing, which nobody's a fan of, I'm, I'm guessing. However, is it not possible that uh, it's neither either or, right? Is that, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, it's neither the most incredible celebration of a life that we've ever seen, stunning, beautiful, oh, Martin Luther King. And it's probably not Sodom and Gomorrah either. Not quite, right? Uh, somebody has pointed out on Twitter the other day, somebody was uh, looking at the stats of the stabbings at the Leeds Reading Festival, I think it was, uh, compared to the volume of people that are in the Notting Hill Carnival, and uh, the, the level of violence is, uh, well, it's higher at a music festival, but it feels like the people on talk TV, they're not so worried about the carnival itself, but rather the type of people who attend it. <laughs> they see all that mass <laughs> humping together and being rowdy, and they don't likes it, right? <laughs> All that steel drum. <laughs> and uh, it scares them. And right, I get it. Me too. But perhaps we are being a little bit, a little bit over the top in our reaction to it at times. Maybe. So I think it is time to ban it. I think it's out of control. Uh, or at the very least, you could move it to Hyde Park and say to the organisers, you know, we've got one, you've got one year to prove that this event can be conducted in a safe and civilised way. Mm, I would not like to be the uh, government spokesperson who has to go and speak to the leaders of the Afro-Caribbean community, the organisers of uh, the <laughs> Notting Hill Carnival, you know, and says to them, uh, look... Listen here, blacks, you've got one year, all right? You're on borrowed time, because we're sick of it, okay? <laughs> you've got one year to prove you can get your act together. Uh, and it's not an excuse to say, well, a million people come to this over the course of a few days, and by and large, it's all okay. Well, from my perspective, by and large, one near fatal stabbing makes the whole thing not okay. I'm sorry, that works well as a soundbite, but uh, if there's just one stabbing, that means it should all be called off. Look, if there are a million people there and one gets seriously injured or killed, I'm not saying <laughs> I like those odds. I do like those odds, though. Look, let's be serious for a second. In London... Uh, there's, what, eight, nine million people. How many people get stabbed every day? Of course, if there's a celebration of a million people, somebody's got to get stabbed. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I wish it weren't the case. I'm just saying it, it's, it's kind of inevitable that if there is a large celebration of a million people pretty much anywhere in the world, you know, somebody's getting shanked. <laughs> and have we really let our standards slip so much that we shrug, shrug in the face of these statistics? I think, uh, you know, I'm going to defer to you. I'm just like, you know, I'm a bit of a libertarian. I don't like banning anything, but... Uh... Oh, God, the ideologically possessed libertarian. Is there anything gayer on earth? <laughs> Can you imagine going to his house just all Friedman, Rand, Hayek? You spaz. Jesus Christ. I went through that phase in my mid-twenties. I am so over libertarianism, okay? Uh, the, the way they think that society just spontaneously organises itself. Sometimes you have to ban shit, all right? I think that's a very good suggestion that you move it to a confined place, space like uh, Hyde Park where perhaps it could be a bit more controlled. Confined space? Control them more? That's not very libertarian, Kevin. Von Mises would be spinning in his grave if he could hear you now. You know, it kind of sounds like, to me, what you're asking for is a final solution to the uh, carnival. <laughs> you, uh, you think we should take them to a place where we can concentrate them a bit more? Uh, I mean, the police are being quite sort of uh, serious this year, but in the past, one of the problems has been that the police have prepared to, preferred to dance with the, uh, r the carnival uh, enjoyers. <laughs> the carnival enjoyers. What you actually mean to say is the N-word. 
than actually police them. Uh, we've seen it before. Uh, you know, one of the things about this, uh, you know, as you say, if I don't care if a million people go, if it's costing lives, and it has cost quite a few lives over the years. I mean, I don't know. I was actually surprised at how few people have died at Notting Hill Carnival over the years. <laughs> if it is uh, causing people to be stabbed, uh, if it is causing coppers to be attacked, uh, then uh, we've got to sort of think about this. Uh, but the coppers, I think, uh, may have raised their game a little bit this year. In the past, we saw it last year, they're just dancing around with them, twerking and everything. Twerking and everything. <laughs> you just know that Kevin O'Sullivan secretly loves the twerking, you know. He just happens to forget every year that the Notting Hill Carnival is on and he has to wade through the dark mass of writhing, twerking bodies. Oh no, stop, you degenerate, stop twerking on me. Not again. That, uh, it, so I always said that, uh, that one of the things about Notting Hill Carnival, it was the finest place on earth to see two-tier policing in action. Uh, this year, as I say, they're getting a bit tougher, uh, but uh, one of the things that I don't like about it, apart from the stabbings and the violence and the attacks on the coppers and the attacks on paramedics, they, these people are pretty much having sex in the street. Now, You're more or less see his anus. Now, you want to have sex in the street? OK, go ahead, but not in front of little children. They're... Not in front of little children. <laughs> is that where you draw the line? Mm, you big libertarian, you. That's the rules, is it? That's what Ayn Rand taught you. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, you know, I just think he's a bit of a spaz, really. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. I don't want people having sex in the street in front of or not in front of children. Get the fuck out of the street. There are children watching these people while they... I mean, it's, you, it's, it's, I'm not OK with sex in the street, sorry. I mean, no, no, I know I'm you're not. a vegetarian, but I mean, honestly, um, I'm not a prude, but... I bet she is. I wouldn't take my children to an event like this. And what a shame it is, because this, the pictures that we're showing now on on talk are lovely pictures. They're pictures of people having fun in amazing costumes, in the sunshine, the music's incredible. There could be such a great atmosphere, and I'm sure for most of it, there is a great atmosphere. But unfortunately, there is just this undercurrent of violence every single year. Oh, yeah, Miss Backshot is absolutely right. There is always, at all times, an ever-present undercurrent of violence. Uh, and it, very appropriately, just as she's saying that, uh, you will have seen on screen there um, what looks like an innocent stream of primary school-age little girls marching in the carnival, enjoying the sunshine and... Uh, you know, the atmosphere, apparently, on the surface, but you're not seeing the undercurrent. Let's uh, take a closer look. So, as we said, the group of little primary school-aged children walking down the road, apparently having a nice, innocent time. But hang on a minute. What's that? it's possible to organize something that doesn't have that that has minimum standards of behavior and that each year we can make a little bit more genuinely family friendly in that case i think we could all support it look at the mess on those streets oh, yeah. how is that okay i mean i perish the thought of the wreckage um that the council and other taxpayer funded personnel have to sweep up the next day i just I don't know. For me, that's just too far. Yeah, dream on, love. I reckon these two should be on some kind of government watch list. This lady, the backshot lady, clearly wants to set up some kind of ethno state where we don't celebrate Afro-Caribbean culture at least once a year. Um, and the other guy, Mr. Libertarian, God knows how much money he's laundering. So uh, I'd look into their affairs, uh, please, MI5. Um, anyway, um, I guess I loosely agree that Notting Hill Carnival is a bit of a shit show, but then so many things about Britain are sort of dirty and <laughs> broken and disgusting. Um, 
I, do, do I get into this? I don't think I can be asked to get into all of this. Um, the clips I couldn't really show you at the beginning of the video, they're on my Patreon if you want to go and see them, the kind of degeneracy, all the dry humping going on in the street, and some wet humping too, I reckon. <laughs> um, it, it's not nice to look at. As I say, check that out on my Patreon. That's the kind of thing you'll get on my Patreon, wet humping. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's all I've got to say about this. Britain's got a long way to go, and I don't think uh, the first step in the right direction is to confine the attendees of uh, <laughs> Notting Hill Carnival. Hump on, carnival attendees! Hump on. All right, I think that's enough for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment, tell me what you thought, all of that kind of stuff. Do it, it helps the algorithm. Bye. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower, even when we're following the diet than our white women counterparts. And what, and what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism it's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same